So let me get this straight. Jesus Christ saved your soul from eternal damnation for eternity. And for some of y'all who don't know how long eternity is, that's forever. So he saved your soul from, from eternal damnation for eternity. And I go to your profile on Facebook and all you can do is talk about everything that's going on in this world. Your favorite football team, your favorite basketball team, your favorite boxer, your favorite singer. How somebody at the restaurant gave you an extra slice of cheese. Even if somebody had saved your, your regular life. Even if somebody had saved your regular life down here on earth. You want to put a memorial up to them. You want to get a, a t-shirt. People wear t-shirts with dead rappers and dead singers on them. They do all this stuff in the name of people on this earth. Singers, rappers, actors, and all this stuff. Once again, Jesus Christ saved your soul from eternal damnation. And the only thing you give him to honor him is you go in a building once a week. But Monday through Saturday, you're just like the rest of the folks in the world who, who don't, absolutely don't, don't know him in any way, shape, or form. It's kind of confusing to me because the scripture clearly says, if you're ashamed of me before men, I'm going to be ashamed of you before my father, which is in heaven. You know, we, we complicate this thing because when we was in elementary school, they had spirit week, little t-shirts and all that corny stuff. Then we went to middle school. They wore, they had cheerleading and little, little football popcorn and all that stuff. Then you get in high school. It's a wrap then because now, you, you know, you got to rep your high school. You got to wear the colors. You got to cheer. You got to jump and all this stuff. Don't even get me started with college because you got sororities and all this other stuff that people. Don't you see, 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 the, see the thing that's going on? They do everything in their power. to Then, then, then we get into the country thing. Well, I'm from this country and I'm from that country and the Olympics and I got to rep my country. None of these things have saved you from eternal damnation. Not one single solitary thing. But once again, I go to your Facebook page or your IG or your X or, 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 or TikTok or anything. And all you talking about is what they talking about, the blind folks. Don't you know that God created all that stuff so you can give him glory? He created, he created all the Internet so you can give him glory. And you only share scripture or you only talk about God is when you need prayer because you ain't got your rent money. Or because somebody in your family is sick or somebody got diagnosed with cancer or something. Now all of a sudden, y'all pray for me or, or prayers up for this or prayers up for that. Don't, don't that seem a little hypocritical to you? That you only want to pay him homage or give him his just due when you need him? That don't make no kind of sense, family. Things got to change. Things got to change because if, if things don't change, you're going to change. Yeah, I've been walking around this holy rubber that I drive because I'm the type of person I'm in all the way. I'm all or none. I wear Jesus tees every day. I'm not saying everybody should do what I do. And I drive this holy roller as a daily driver. And the property I own got a 14 foot cross on it. And before I did these things in this neighborhood, there was mad drug drug activity and, and mad darkness. And the Lord just told me simply this. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men. Lift me up. Everybody, we need a revival. We need a revival. What are you doing daily? A revival is not y'all going in a building hollering and screaming to the same people who come every week anyway or friends and family. A revival is every single day of your life lifting up that bloodstained banner and picking up your cross. You either in this or you not, flat out. And if you're ashamed of him, he sees you. And when you step in front of him, he's going to say, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I do not know you. That's the word. 